in this lecture let's explore about what exactly is this scan node now the node arrangement will be like this so you have a microcontroller so this is a microcontroller and in the microcontroller what you have is a can controller or can peripheral the can controller and this can controller peripheral gives you two single ended pins so these are actually digital pins in order to communicate now the one is called as can tx and the other one is called as can rx this is for reception and this is for the transmission of the data okay so these are actually digital pins and we also call this as a single ended pins now according to the can specifications you cannot use this single ended pins means the digital signals in order to communicate with another node okay so this is not allowed so the specification of the can protocol has a dedicated section where it explains about the physical medium used for the communication so in can these digital signals are not used in order to communicate with the other node instead of that we use something called differential signals but your microcontroller will not provide the differential signal so so the differential signals so the differential signals are used in order to communicate with another node that is because the digital signals are good for very short range communication but since as i said can is introduced for automobiles where you have to cover larger distance like 1 meter to 3 meters or even some of that like maybe like more than 40 meters in those cases you just can't use this or the voltage levels in order to send the data or receive the data okay so the differential signals give some more immunity to the noise and the data can be transmitted more reliably so that's why there is a need to convert this single ended signal to the differential signals and in order to achieve that differential signal you need a transceiver yeah can transceiver yeah okay so that's why the can transceiver used for this can transceiver what it does it actually takes the single ended signals and convert it into a differential signal so that's what we call as can h and other one is called as can l so can high and can low and this is what we can call as a node so this is a node so a can bus will be having basically two lines can h line and the can low line and both the lines are terminated by a termination resistor of 120 ohms so if you want to attach your node to the bus you just have to connect can h terminal of your node to can h line of the bus and the can l terminal of your node to the can l line of the bus that is about a node so that's how a node look like so you have a microcontroller and a microcontroller should be having a can peripheral are also called as as can controller and the can controller gives you two pins one is can tx and another one is the can rx so this is also called as a single ended pins and with this single ended pins you cannot able to communicate 
and we have to convert these single ended pins to the differential signals and for this purpose we have to use CAN transceiver and the CAN transceiver to give you two outputs one is CAN H and another one is CAN low those are differential signal and that you have to connect it to the bus that's how a bus with multiple nodes look like and at the end of the day you have to communicate over CAN H and like CAN L signals. 